We have more than a foot of snow on the ground in a lot of places. Ticks are probably not at the top of mind right now, but experts say deer ticks that carry Lyme and other diseases can survive under that snow and even begin questing for their first blood meal as early as March. Great picture. No thanks. But thanks to a recent allocation of more than $6 million in federal money, this coming tick season, the University of Maine Tick Lab will have more tools to identify emerging species, research ways to reduce tick populations, and also educate the public, including more school children. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story from Orono. $6.2 million in federal funding for the University of Maine Cooperative Extension Tick Lab couldn't come at a better time. Incidence of Lyme disease was up in 2022 at a little more than 2,600 cases, a thousand more cases compared to 2021. Managing ticks is, is such a, uh, a difficult proposition. Griffin Dill manages the UMO Tick Lab. He says climate change is allowing tick populations to increase and move further west and north in Maine. Warming winters means ticks can quest longer and emerge earlier in the spring. Dill says $2 million will go to researching how these very weather patterns could help reduce those numbers. Does it present any opportunities where we can kind of leverage some of this extreme weather or, or changes to um, you know, target vulnerabilities in their life cycle. Another two and a half million is slated for tracking species of ticks that are emerging in Maine, including the Lone Star Tick. Linked to a lifetime allergic condition known as alpha-gal syndrome, it causes food allergies to red meat, such as beef, pork, and other mammal products. The lab hopes to hire more researchers, including UMO students, to collect and study tick samples. Of the Lone Star Tick that is sometimes being found here in the state of Maine, but we haven't found established populations. And more than $1.6 million will be dedicated to educating 4-H students and school children, especially in rural areas. Possibly this spring, kids will be hands-on, learning how to identify ticks and protect themselves against Lyme and other tick-borne illness. They can collect ticks and collect uh, data and understand how to, to analyze that data. We'll test the ticks for them. And they can have an understanding you know, about uh, the, the pathogen prevalence um, in and around their, their school ground. The funding is expected to cover five years of research and educating the public about ticks and the diseases they carry. In Orono, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Those researchers will also be on the lookout for the Asian longhorned tick. It's a species that has not been found in Maine. Scientists are still determining what types of diseases it might transmit.